Hey guys, I'm back for another video and today I'm going to be doing a first impressions on this Dream Wonder foundation by Maybelline and this is new and I saw this um, at a CVS pharmacy when I went and basically I wanted to try it out. It's very, very liquidy and very thin so I want to see how well it covers and if it's even worth buying because um, this is kind of similar to the powder the like L'Oreal powder foundation thing, liquid to powder, I think that's what it's called. It's like really liquidy and like, I don't know if you hear it, but it's like very liquidy. So basically it comes in 12 different shades. On their website it says that it's $10.99. I'm not sure how much I purchased it for. I think it was probably around the same price um, at CVS Pharmacy. So yeah, um, I'm going to try to apply it with a Beauty Blender. This one isn't Beauty Blender brand, but... Um, I figured I'd try it. Um, so yeah, basically it claims breakthrough texture fuses with skin, a finish so impeccable yet undetectable. Exclusive dropper, medium to full coverage, ideal for normal skin. Shake well, unscrew cap holding dropper vertically, allow foundation to drop onto fingertip, apply to face as usual. Something interesting about this foundation is that it comes with like this little thing and like I hope it doesn't drop right now, but it's kind of like a dropper except that it's not like an actual dropper like nothing actually like you don't like press anything for the liquid to come out but i thought that was pretty genius because this way it's like you don't have to like wait for the product to come out and you always get product on this little dropper stick thing that they have and um it's just convenient so i'm just gonna take some on my hand and it says that it's medium to full coverage which I don't know, but that's what the foundation looks like. It's pretty liquidy, and I'm just going to take it and apply it to my face, I guess. And that obviously was not enough, so I'm going to take more. And you can see that it just, like, drips down my face. It's, like, probably very easy to blend. I'm just going to take a beauty blender and try to blend it that way. So it covered extremely lightly. I don't know if you guys can even really tell. Um, it feels very lightweight. It doesn't feel like you're wearing anything. But it just feels kind of powdery. And I don't think a beauty blender is the best way to apply it. Because since it's already so thin to begin with. And beauty blender usually kind of like thins it out even more. And makes it look even more flawless. I don't think this is the way to go. I think using a brush would be better for like more coverage and I mean you can use a beauty blender I guess but then you'd have to like apply like more than one layer which I, I don't want to do that so I'm just gonna take my stippling brush from Sigma which I believe it's the F50 yeah dual fiber brush I'm just gonna dip it into the foundation and kind of like stipple it on and I think this way the coverage just comes out better looking and it's just so smooth. I just love the way this foundation feels. It doesn't feel like I even have foundation on my face when I'm applying it, which is really nice. It just glides on so easily. I never had a foundation apply this easily. I basically don't even have to like stipple it on really. It just kind of blends like automatically. And the shade that I picked it up in is 20 Classic Ivory. So um, they have 12 shades as I mentioned before. And um, I was kind of in between shades. I didn't know if I should be getting the one that's like right after this one or if this one would work, but this one looks like it works. Plus it's so light that you can't even really tell like if it was like a tad darker or something like that, you wouldn't really be able to tell because it just blends very seamlessly. Camera makes me look really ghostly right now, really light, but I'm really not that light. So I'm just gonna take my um, what is this? My Hello Flawless Powder. I'm just gonna put a little bit on, like, the T-zone area. And that's it. I'm just gonna finish applying my makeup, and I'll be right back to give you my final thoughts. Hey guys, so I'm back. I just finished applying all of my makeup, and I did kind of notice that the foundation was a little light on me, so I kind of um, tried to contour more and apply more blush to make it look more lively. But that's the only down thing I have to say about this. Um, it feels very powdery. I just, I really like the way it feels. 
I hope it stays on and right now it is 2 19 p.m. I will be back in a few hours to let you guys know how it's going. I'm back for my final update and um, I didn't film an update before because I wasn't home all day but I did take pictures which I'm going to enter somewhere on the screen but um, I checked my face around 5 30 p.m. and it looked really good um, I do feel oily and I did feel oily at 5 30 but um, it looked good it didn't look super cakey or anything like that it kind of looked oily in my t-zone but that's about it like I think the foundation lasted pretty well I was like rubbing my face and stuff so I think it looks pretty good for um, the outcome that we have going on now you can still see my blush a little bit not really like very minimal but you can still tell that I have blush on um, for the most part I guess the makeup did kind of rub off but I mean it is the end of the night so it's literally like 11 48 p.m. So I do recommend this foundation uh, but I do suggest blotting um, occasionally or like putting powder on top the price that you pay I think it's worth it and the fact that it's so lightweight and you don't feel it on your skin and it's so thin I'm like really surprised that it covered that well and that it lasted all day like I thought it would rub off my face right away but it didn't and I really like this so this is definitely gonna be like my go-to summer foundation now because it's super lightweight and it also has SPF 20 I didn't mention that before but yeah it's like overall good for you and I think it's perfect for summertime so yeah if you guys have tried this foundation out please let me know what you guys think of it and yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.